You know, the other day I was on Twitter and I seen a little post that caught my eye and it was something surprising and it was a Halo player deciding he wanted to complain about him getting absolutely skill issued in a quick me matchmaking game and that got me thinking, well, looking at my content I kind of like, I've been mostly focusing on PlayStation fanboys and it's kind of getting stale and repetitive so I thought, you know what, let's take a quick look at this little thing and see if this is worth anything oh and trust me it was and then when I thought it couldn't get any better he decided to start replying to everyone who was, you know, giving him some constructive criticism on what he'd done and how you can improve. And he absolutely pretty much mostly was just going la 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 la, you're all trolls and all that. And or trying to complain like things like he was in the moment and he couldn't think and all that. Well, then trying to claim that it's 343's fault because he got absolutely skill issued in one wee second of a clip. So I figured instead of messing around, we're going to quickly show you the clip and then we're going to talk about what the hell he's having a meltdown over. So let's first play that clip. Double kill. Triple kill. Overkill. Killing spree. Counter snipe. Kill. Right, now I've shown you the clip. Let me show you the tweet. And the tweet goes along something of about to hit a nasty kill trotic to win a game, then boom, 3 for 3, why you always gotta give bad kids an easy win? And then it just obviously is attached to the clip we just seen. But uh let's uh let's feed some of the people who decided to reply to this and see what they had to say about this. The first person is from Pelvi who said, failed to manage the map assets skill issue. And of course then Dobby had to say, okay bud well cry with a crying emoji. And of course, the poppy guy is correct, it's like, Halo is more about map assets and like finding weapon spawns and all that, it's like, that's kind of been the thing about Halo since like Halo 3, Halo Reach style kind of days, but it's like, I don't know why this guy is like having it so hard to believe and trying to add like, okay, yeah, that's definitely the problem about why I died. It's not the fact that like, you know, the guy was, the guy knew where a coil spawned and so he thought, oh well, I can get an easy kill by throwing this at someone, which he did, as we've seen. So again, it's like, this generally is more of a skill issue than anything else so far, and the fact that this guy is so blatantly trying not to, you know, say that is so funny. Next guy we have here is Solo Business, who said, Got outplayed, don't blame the 315 player killing you. Threw a drop screen down, repulse it, do anything but cry on Twitter over a mid-clip like talk. Is there anything special in this video? To me, this is like throwing away a clip on kettles who are gold or worse. Yeah, I can definitely say that this is like, this looks like a guy who's just joined a lobby of bots and all that and he's absolutely curve stomping them and he's like then crying because one of those bots decided to fight back and get like a cheeky wee coil throw at him and kill him for a kill which got rid of his like little uh, killing spree kind of thing. So this is what this is definitely, this is a grown adult having a temper tantrum on Twitter because like, you know, he got he got his kill stole kind of thing, like his kill thing he's stopped, that's um. And of course, you think as the grown adult he is, you think he would have some kind of like, you know, witty or smart rhetorical to this, you know, to show his intelligence. But instead, he just said, I'd do the same to you, bud. Definitely showing his maturity. Definitely showing exactly what kind of person this is. Like, this is, again, this is clearly someone who literally just sits in bottom, like, lobbies and, like, gets absolutely hundreds of kills and stomping on people but yet he'll then complain the second he gets killed and claim that it's unfair it's like you're exactly like what everyone else is who you quote unquote call bots but the difference is though these people who play this game are actually here to have fun while here you are trying to absolutely sweat your life out on this thing trying to prove that you're some like amazing halo player so that maybe you can get put into like some kind of fucking you know pro league kind of thing but it's like my god and the fact is, even in the clip, you can see how bad he is at trying to get that kill in air. And, uh, it's so funny. But, before we go on to, like, the next reply, I want to quickly show you something, right? I want to play that clip one more time, but we're going to play it right before he got killed. And I want you to look very closely at what he's aiming at. Right, here we go, he's aiming at a shot. And, brother, what the fuck were you shooting at there? Brother, what were you aiming at? Look, are you fighting fucking ghosts or something? Because clearly shown in that clip, 
you are literally aiming at fucking ghosts. Either that or you seem to have a fit easier because you were aiming for his fucking feet. Like, Jesus Christ, just admit that you thought he was going to come around the corner running instead of jumping. So you planned ahead and tried to, like, get a quick reason no scope in, not realizing he jumped and absolutely demolished you. Like, that's all you have to say is, like, just literally say, oh well, he caught me off guard. I thought he was going to run down the hall instead of jumping and threw a coil at me. GG, that was it. Like, no, you're trying to claim then that, yeah, this is, uh, this is all 343's fault. This is like, they should have like probably this and they should stop giving bad players like, you know, helping with that. Which I think they should. I think they should stop bad players like you getting help because clearly it looks like you're absolutely dog shit when it comes to actually, you know, thinking on the fly. Because like, Jesus Christ, like the amount of times that you were like sh trying to aim for his fucking feet there was funny as hell. And I love the fact is as well, is like even in the clip, you're spawn shooting like, you're waiting for people running around the corner to get quickly shot off, which is fine. You're you're like really good at like actually shooting with marksmen, but when it comes to actually, you know, the moment to moment like quick like thought, you're kinda like brain unga boonga moment, like you have no idea what the hell you're doing and you have no idea what the hell you, you can do to think about this. Like you're not good at strategizing. And it is so funny, like the second someone like does something you didn't think they were gonna do, your brain literally just shuts off. And it's absolutely hilarious. But Still got some more little replies to go through. And from our next one is from come on called Stru, who said, Brother, you had three seconds to drop the shield or shoot the coil in his hands. And of course he he uh, you know replied saying, I put it in slow motion. I would have had to react in an instant. I guess I could have thrown or dropped the shield that I was in the moment. I didn't realise I had it. Brother, you weren't even fucking in the moment. The second he jumped your brain shut the hell down like what the hell are you talking about like you had no idea what to do like my god he literally had like about let's say five seconds at best like the guy said but it's quote unquote because if you look at it again from the clip he has he aims down looks to his feet and then he, he tries to aim up but by that point the coil was thrown to him so he would have died so if we count that, he had around 5 seconds, any normal person would go, shit, he's not where I go, drop the shield. But no, this guy thought he could just keep like going for spawn kills and like thinking he could become fucking FaZe or something or be like the next FaZe clan member with his no scopes. But since that didn't work, he then, like I've said multiple times already, is now going on a Twitter rant and having a little Twitter transform online because the game didn't go the way he wanted and he's now acting like a petulant little child. Right. The next one we have is from Whiskey who says, Sometimes you just dealt a checkmate, but you still could have dropped a wall for a boom click. You could have catched it, even th even though it hardly works Lamal. And then he replies saying, Yeah, I was doing moment. I wanted a quick scope to do for a terrific kill traffic. I definitely should have thrown the drop shield down. So he's admitting right here that it was a skill issue, that he had multiple, you know, things he could have done to avoid that death, but refused to do that because as he said he was too in the moment. But yeah, as we've just seen in the past tweets we've read and what we'll probably continue to see is the fact is that he's doubling down and doubling down and tripling down to the point where like it's so laughable now like anyone can literally see what he's doing and it is absolutely sheer pathetic. Like seriously, this whole I'm in the moment crap. Yeah, well most people think in the moment or they just die and just get on with it. And then we have someone here from Jamesy who said two in the moment. So you won't prefer for anything other than attack. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to put that in there because I thought that was kind of funny to be honest. <laughs> but uh, anyway, on to an actual real tweet. We have someone called Alex who says, I started playing again recently only to be constantly killed by those and I figured it was a new meta and I uninstalled again. And Denchery said, yeah, some kids are terrible at game and have to do trolley shit for kills. The dude was running around all game throwing coils because he couldn't scope for shit. The same time a person who hops in was in BTB and thinks he's good. Holy fucking spell check Batman, what the fuck is this here? Jesus fucking Christ. Like honest to fucking god, what the hell were you saying? I couldn't understand a word. But uh, let's, let's try and dissect it. First thing you said, yeah, some kids are terrible at the game and have to do trolley shit. I don't know what you, I think you might say trolley shit as in trolls, but anyway, let's see, but who the fuck cares? That's what they want to do. If they want to run around throwing coils and all that at people, that's their own gig. Like, that's what they find fun. Like, at the end of the day, that's what this is all about, is having fun. 
not just sitting here complaining and moaning and groaning and whining that you got killed because you got killed by a Tesla coil. It's like, or uh, whatever the coil was called, I don't know. And it's like, Jesus Christ. And I love how he added in this whole little thing of like, oh, the guy was running around. Well, but funny that. It's like, why was that context not added in? Like when you first tweeted out, now you're suddenly adding in this context that he was he was running around throwing coils all game and there was doing nothing else. And he had to add in that little like ego boost of, well, he can't scope for shit, which means as I'm better because I can. It's like, my brother in Christ, it's fucking Halo. We literally don't care if we're not complaining about how playable elites aren't in the game in Infinite. We're all just rolling our eyes at, at 343 doing stupid shit. And I love how he then has to then walk this guy in with someone who play like, what was it? Who hops in a wasp to play to be better because that's what they want to do in big team battles like I think I know exactly what kind of guy this is this is the kind of guy who'll go into like a game he'll get like maybe two kills think he's great get sniped once and then he'll quit the game and then not play that match and go find another one where he can like be the amazing guy in it it's like my brother in Christ drop the fucking ego Jesus Christ and then we have another one here from FD it says just pick up the Tesla nuclear football them. <laughs> if he wasn't two feet away from me, I would have. If he wasn't two feet away. Funny, because like we seen in the clip, he looked a bit uh, far away, a bit more than two feet. So, uh, why are you capping? Why are you lying? Why are you literally trying to make yourself seem like anything other than, you know, just a bad like moment like, Je like Jesus Christ? Then... We have someone called Will who said, A good player, in brackets, would, would have caught it and thrown it back. Just hold X. You're a good marksman, but you're all around skill set. And then we have someone called Carmen who says, To be honest, it looks like a new player lobby. The second player legit had 9 kills while he's out here with 24. Yeah, so he was in a, he's in a bot lobby. He was in a bot lobby. Literally sniping bots. Oh my fucking god. That just makes this even better. Like... He's decent at sniping, but the fact is to boost his ego and make it seem like he's so good at the game, he actually had to get into a bot lobby and snipe bots. Jesus fucking Christ, how goddamn pathetic are you? Oh my god. But of course he had to reply with, yeah bro, I'm good with snipers, not my fault, this is in Lone Wolves, which I'm not going to make any comment about like, yeah, like you know. I don't know the ranking system, so I don't know if it was Lone Wolf or not, but it's like, if the second person in the game has only 9 kills and you're at the top of 24, yeah, you're in a bot lobby. Don't try and act like you're better than anyone else in this game. Don't act like you're amazing and that you're the best in the lobby. You were the best in a couple of people who probably just started playing the game. My god, it's like your ego. And then Carmen decided to uh, clap back with, yeah, in a clear bot lobby where the second player is with 9 kills, you got outplayed. It's simple. Which could not be said any better himself there. It's like, Jesus Christ. Like, my God. <laughs> Literally, nothing else can be said. Of course, he can't just take the L and move on. He had to say, I can't control what players Halo gives me, dog. And then Carmen responds with, That's not what I meant. You died because you got outplayed and blamed 343. Like we seen what the very first tweet was where he started complaining about how he had been put in with bad players and 343 had to fix this. It's like, my God. It's like, how can you not realise this by now? How can you not literally see the error of what you're doing? Like, you're this far down in the rabbit hole. You're in fucking China. Like, my god, just quit. Stop digging. Just take the L and move on. And like, the most stupidest thing is, he thought he had something with this tweet. Like, this first one where he showed the clip. Like, he literally showed him, him doing decent against bots. Which is kind of sad itself. And then he gets Tesla coiled to death. Like, okay, if that were me, I would have just laughed at that and probably would have put a funny little edit in or something. But no, he had to show everyone how, how big his e-penis is when it comes to sniping. And it is so absolutely sad. And I and you're probably wondering why I haven't, like, you know, wanted to, like, plug this guy's name since harassment or not. Like, obviously, you shouldn't harass him, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, this is just so something so stupid and I... Just, just couldn't. I just couldn't fathom how bad this guy was. It's like he got like no attention on this until people started quote treating him like dunk, you know. And then all of a sudden he started like trying to play the victim with all these quote, like you know comeback tweets that were not ending well. But you know, at the end of the day, 
What's the takeaway from this is that 343 bad because I got put in a, body lob a lobby of bots and I won but then I got killed. So 343 bad.